This is the stunning central square of the classic city of Antwerp in Belgium. It is a meeting place for food lovers to enjoy chocolate, waffle, fries, and to sample the local beer. I am visiting the Ventrich family cheese shop, which a few years ago was given the title of the best cheese shop in Europe by the Wall Street Journal. It's certainly a gourmet heaven. Frédéric buys cheeses from the best makers in Europe and refines them in state-of-the-art temperature and humidity control rooms. Naturally, he's an expert on Belgium cheeses. Not many people know that, that we have a wide selection of different cheeses in Belgium, starting from white molds to very nice artisanal goat cheeses, semi-hard abbey cheeses, but also beautiful blue cheeses, going to some delicious hard textured cheeses. And I think we in Belgium are not very often as proud as we should be on our own products. I am tempted by the Netteling farmhouse goat cheese with a gnashed rind. It is so smooth. To me, it's just so subtle in goat flavor, but just perfect. Glad you like it. The 22 months old Grondel farmhouse cheese also has amazing flavors. It goes well with a blonde beer that a brewer and Frederick's family have created. In Belgium, we have beautiful beers and you should pair them with beautiful Belgian cheeses. And in the nose, you have the, the fruitiness. In the taste, you have a very elegant bitterness. You like it? I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Belgium is famous for making great French fries. First, I trim some large peeled potatoes to obtain straight edges. Then, I cut the potatoes into long one centimeter thick slices and into one centimeter sticks. Next, I very carefully drop the dry chips in oil at 150 degrees and cook for about five minutes. At this stage, the fries are almost cooked, but still pale in color. The aim of the first dipping in the oil is to cook the fries without browning them. I drain them, and when they are ready to serve, I fry them again in the hot at 190 degrees for about four minutes until golden. I season with salt. Voila, it is a tradition to serve these delicious Belgian fries with mayonnaise. In the French-speaking Belgian village of Marchand, Arabel Merlin is a very talented chef whose cooking is modern and groundbreaking as she avoids using many foods that people are allergic to. Mais tout le temps, ce que je veux montrer, c'est que c'est possible de cuisiner une cuisine euh, avec une très grande diminution du gluten, du lait, du sucre, et en ayant une cuisine toujours aussi goûteuse. C'est ça que j'aime bien, d'aromatiser les légumes avec euh, des épices, des aromates que je, je fais beaucoup ici au jardin, pour apporter un goût particulier, faire des sauces végétales. The cuisine is superbly light, tasty, and colorful. It is a bonus that Pierre, her husband, is one of the best sommeliers in Belgium. I will come back. Tomorrow we arrive in the north of France to discover the gourmet specialties of the town of Cambrai.